the father stabbed him to death. He didn't die! <coughs> Such a creature is impossible to kill. You starve it to death to die. Tomorrow it's alive again. Have you ever seen a vampire? No, thank God. But I was told they take their victims during moonlight because it gives them strength and a special protection. My dear departed mother once told me an old tale about a vampire. Ah, oh, let us hear it! Oh, but it is already done. That's so much <laughs> better! Those stories are best told in the dark! <laughs> Your daughter's marriage. 
I want the wedding to be celebrated at my expense and as splendidly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Light up the great hall. There I want to find the myrtle wreath into the bride's hair. Uh. So you came on my account, <laughs> gracious sir? Is that your daughter, young? Yes, gracious sir, my daughter Emmy. Of course I came on your account. Beautiful Emmy. Alas, forgive me, gracious sir, that I was so startled when I saw you, but we had just told <coughs> a horrible tale when you came unexpectedly. Well, here. Take this ring as compensation. I'm sorry for the scare I caused you. Why, gracious sir, you are giving me this precious ring? As a wedding present. I will also give you a dowry. And if you want to, your future husband can work on my estate. Gracious sir, so much kindness. Go now, dear folks. Get the hole ready. I am going to talk to Emmy about her future. Call me when everything is ready, so I may have the first dance with the beautiful Emmy. Thank you. Oh boy. Alas, gracious sir, how have I earned so much kindness? With your beauty.
You know, George, it's not nice of you that you came so late today. But it is a nice thing for you to flirt with a strange man, that he squeezes your hand, embraces you, even kisses you. Is that nice? Uh, that was our new gracious lord. And he will take care of us. He is so good, so kind. So, so good, so kind, that compared to him, I'm just a blockhead. Don't be so upset, dear George. He's leaving today. Yes, he has to go back to Davino because he's marrying Malvina. So he's going to marry you, Malvina? Yes, you don't seem to like that. You yourself could become a lady, right? Oh, I'm a fool. To bring you joy, I asked the gracious Lord to come here because I know how much you want our wedding to be fancy. I hardly had told him about the wedding when he jumped up, had his horse saddled, took leave from our old Lord, and came galloping here. I panted behind to have the pleasure of seeing him kissing my bride. Good evening, George. Is the Earl here? Uh, yes, gracious sir. He's in the hall. Please ask him to come right away. I'm going. I'm going to I have to save her, even if it costs me my life. So, Aubrey, I'm surprised to see you here. I intend to follow you everywhere. I love Malvina, and Malvina loves me. Leave her alone. Don't kill the happiness of two people. <laughs> Don't face the birds. My terrible fate is driving me. Stay away from me. <laughs> Ich dir, jetzt geh hin, 